In 1930, 13 years after the initial apparitions at Fatima, the church recognized these miracles, declaring them to be worthy of credence. At Fatima, 70 to 80,000 people gathered and witnessed the sun dance in the sky for about 10 minutes. This miracle of the sun, as it's now well known, was foretold to three shepherd children and was one of many private revelations given to them. Lucia, who ended up becoming a Carmelite nun, said later in her life, a time will come when the decisive battle between the kingdom of Christ and Satan will be over marriage and the family, and those who will work for the good of the family will experience persecution and tribulation. But do not be afraid, because Our Lady has already crushed his head. Referencing Genesis, Lucia highlights the Old Testament prophecy of Mary crushing the head of Satan. I will put enmities between thee and the woman, and thy seed and her seed. She shall crush thy head, and thou shalt lie in wait for her heel. This biblical prefigurement of Mary is also seen in another Old Testament passage, where Judith cuts off the head of Holofernes with a sword, and she struck twice upon his neck and cut off his head. Another message from Our Lady of Fatima was to pray the rosary every day. As I was writing my book, Defenders of the West, the, he the Christian heroes who stood against Islam, and Christian is emphasized, um, the rosary was often in their hands as they went into battle. So. Uh, the attack on the rosary is somewhat correct in one way in that, yeah, there is actually, if you want to use the word militant associations with it, but not in the sense of oppressive or unjust warfare, but rather just war, defense, taking care of one's household, one's family, one's faith, one's country, one's civilization, one's culture, all of those fit into this context. Um, and not just the rosary, but the whole panoply of Catholicism was really evident on the battlefield. I mean, these men would partake of communion and the Eucharist and fall to their knees and pray, um, including to the, you know, to the Holy Virgin. This battle over marriage and the family is clearly raging. It has been so for a long time now. In 1970, the marriage rate was 76.5%. By 2010, that percentage dropped to just over 31%. This is a nearly 60% decline over a 40-year span. But during this time, Americans were not just neglecting marriage and remaining single. For the ones who were married, families were being destroyed. In 1960, over 80% of married women with children under six stayed at home. By 2008, that percentage was chopped in half. And no man ever loves a woman who has lost her femininity. But this marital and familial collapse begins and ends with an absence of masculinity, which is clear when considering so many men are abandoning the sacrament of marriage. In 2017, men who supported gay marriage reached a full 60%. In 2013, the number of men who believed gay couples could make good parents was nearly the same, at just under 60%. Two babies, people. Two babies are on the way. Uh, those are ultrasounds, what you're seeing over there. Uh, yeah, so, okay, this is gonna be very confusing to people, and I understand this, right? Like, okay, wait a minute, you're both dudes. The boys are apt to become sissies and effeminate. And they grow up not to be men, but mannequins. There's definitely a lack in that spirit today, that manly spirit. And it's it's just, you know, the word manly and manliness, uh, it used to be when I was growing up, kind of a good thing and positive. But again, it's it, it has this almost cringe quality. You don't want to talk about something like that. We have to, be, we have to always be careful to talk about a man in a very neutral, or that is to say, neutered sense. Um, so that, again, is one of those things that is completely missing, intentionally so, because I think that the powers that be who um, are up to no good, very obviously, do not want this manly spirit. In fact, that's their greatest enemy in many ways. And I think that's why you see this movement, you know, from birth, you take little boys and convince them that they're girls. Uh, you know, there's actually a, a logic to this. And I believe it's, you know, the powers that be, it's much easier to govern a, a, a population where all the men think they're women than it is to actually uh, govern a population of, let's say, men like the men I wrote about in Defenders of the West. Uh, those guys are not going to be easily uh, manipulated. They're going to stand for what's right. The family is the original cell of social life, meaning one's initiation into society begins with the family. More so, authority, stability, and a life of relationships within the family constitute the foundations for freedom, security, and fraternity within society. The Christian family constitutes a specific revelation and realization of ecclesial communion, and for this reason it can and should be called a domestic church. The model family is the Holy Family of Saint Joseph, the Light of Patriarchs, the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Queen of Families, 
and Jesus himself, the light of the world. Under his earthly parents' care, our Lord was obedient to Mary and Joseph his entire life. He was subject to them, writes St. Luke, even working his first miracle at his mother's request, which set him on the road to Calvary, in which he was put to death for treason. Ultimately, it was because he was saying the truth, and you know, and he knew where that would lead to, of course. Um, so I think that is the greatest lesson that you know Christians from today can learn. Uh, you know, look at how cowardly so many uh, Christians are because they just refuse. They they're part of the world system, really, and they don't want to go against it. They don't want to, you know, uh, you know, go against the grain, as it were, and just kind of accord with the world. Well, the Bible and Jesus has said that the world is the enemy, really. Um, the world in the abstract sense as you know loving the world and the god of this world is satan okay so if you are verbally agreeing and in your mind agreeing well you know that just shows where your allegiance is and that's how christ was not so that's how the apostles were not and that's why they were killed <laughs>